let's talk more about controllers if you want to set the status code manually you can also do that you can use the http code decorator here let's say i'm gonna set the status code 204 nest also provide the header decorator you can also set the header manually let's try to run the project so i'm gonna send the post request now you can see that the status code 204 you can also check the headers here we have the header. Let's say I'm going to change that to this one. Let's try to send the request again. Now you can see that this is the new value of the header. You can also use the redirect decorator if you want to redirect to another page. I'm getting the version inside the query if version is 5 then redirect to this one so i'm going to access the docs route slash docs i have to access it from the browser Now you can see that it has successfully redirected. Let's say if I will provide the version equals to 5. Now I got this different page. Now I got the exact documentation page. This is the main page and this is the documentation page. So redirect is also working fine. This is how you will get the route parameters. You can use the param decorator. You can get all the params here. So I'm going to send the request from the postman. Let's say we need to send the get request. ID which is 1. Now you can see that ID 1. Now you will see the ID 2 because I'm returning the prams. Under the hood, Nest.js will convert this stream, convert it into promise. They are using the JSON data here. They have added the middleware automatically. We don't need to parse the request body. They are already doing that. So in the next video, I'll show you how to build the complete controller.